Hi everyone. So I'm bringing you a quick video today about birth control and what you can eat and what you can supplement in your diet to help you with all of the birth control side effects that you may have and some of the nutrient deficiencies that may happen if you've been taking birth control for some time. So if you're interested, keep on watching. A lot of us take birth control for many different reasons. You know, the first one of course is birth control right um which is necessary for women who are sexually active also it is necessary um, in the sense that it helps to regulate periods for persons possibly who have polycystic ovarian syndrome for some persons who may have endometriosis and even persons who have fibroids uh, it can help in that regard and it can help some persons who may be struggling with certain hormonal uh, imbalances that may cause acne or may cause hirsutism which is just an overgrowth of hair on certain areas of the body so to say that birth control is not necessary is unrealistic so if you're taking it if you've ever been taking it for quite some time here's what you need to do so usually the nutrient deficiencies that may occur with taking birth control is our B complex vitamins that's like B6, B9, folate, B12. Uh, then you have vitamin C that may be reduced with the tablet, and magnesium and zinc, which are pretty important, may be reduced as well. B vitamins um, usually help us in terms of our energy function. Vitamin C, as a lot of us know, usually helps with our immune system and it also helps us to absorb iron as well with magnesium this is one of those miracle minerals if you will so basically it helps with our muscles so it helps if we have tight muscles it helps us sleeping it helps us with our bowel habits so many things that magnesium can do so i really think that's one of the important minerals that you want to supplement and then you have zinc which also helps in our immune function as well I'm usually the one to say that it's best to get your nutrients from food because our body tends to break it down and absorb it easier. However, a lot of the times with our diet, we may not be able to get all of these nutrients at all times. And if you're taking birth control, we know that's usually for 21 days or 28 days, depending on the type that you're taking. So you want to be able to get that nutrient in as much as possible. The easiest way I think that you can get it with a supplement is taking a high quality prenatal vitamin. Now prenatal vitamins are not going to get you pregnant, <laughs> but they usually have higher amounts of certain vitamins that are beneficial for your body, especially as a woman. So usually like folate and B12, it's usually higher in that vitamin D and magnesium as well. So if you're considering any supplement, a prenatal vitamin is usually the first one you would go to. And the others, of course, B-complex, zinc, vitamin C, magnesium. These, of course, are good to be supplemented separately. But I would say to talk to your doctor because uh, some of these nutrients can interact with certain medications that you're taking. So you want to be sure that you're not doing your body a disservice. And of course, some medications as well can cause side effects when paired with certain supplements. Uh, for example, with magnesium, if you take a higher dose, probably like 300 or 500 milligrams a day, this may sometimes cause you to have a worsening nausea. Some people have diarrhea, some people have headaches. So talking to a nutritionist like myself would help you to find out what dose will be beneficial to you and what won't cause any side effects. Uh, in terms of the foods that you want to add, in terms of B vitamins, unfortunately a lot of B vitamins aren't found in plant-based foods. Um, they can be but not all the time, especially B12. If you are vegan or vegetarian, you want to ensure that you get B12 supplementation through what they call sublingual which you just put underneath your tongue or a vitamin tablet or a gummy because you're not necessarily going to get it from food because uh, it's usually just in meats and fish whereas the other B vitamins you can find it in whole grains you can find it in green leafy vegetables so that's also good as well in terms of magnesium you find that a lot in nuts 
so if you have a nut allergy sorry <laughs> but cashews are really good um, and you also find it in green vegetables as well you can't really go wrong with green vegetables to be honest so if that's low in your diet right now try to put it in you know like in your even in your lunch or in your dinner that would be great uh, for vitamin C most of us know that we can supplement with that but it's in citrus foods like oranges grapefruits limes lemons and it's also in sweet peppers or bell peppers as some people call it and also in green vegetables as well like broccoli so that's great to have too zinc i'm gonna put up the foods that you know zinc is usually in because i can't remember well right now um but that would also help if you have any deficiency and these minerals as well would actually reduce some of the side effects that you may have um especially nausea um, and headaches for persons who are taking birth control uh, as well as omega-3 supplementation though birth control does not reduce omega-3s as as far as we know omega-3s are pretty healthy to have because they do kind of regulate the production of hormones in our bodies we're taking exogenous hormones which is basically hormones out of our body inside so we want to do as best as we can to regulate the ones that we're making ourselves and omega-3 supplementation will do that if you don't want to take any more supplements then omega-3 is usually found in flax seeds or chia seeds if you're on the vegan side or um, healthy fatty fish like say tuna salmon mackerel sardine bassa fish those type of things you'll find omega-3s there i really wanted to just make a quick video on what you can do when you're on birth control i hope this helps i do also have a post on my instagram if you want to look there as well and if you have any questions on birth control or women's health in regarding reproduction please let me know down below i am very passionate about women's health and i would love to do more videos in regards to that so thank you for watching i'm dr kimberly somerville from simple summer naturals and if you want to contact me here is my information and i'll see you next time bye